There's been a lot of questions over the years about the animation on walking and it came on this video of mine so I thought that I would um, you show you. First I'm going to get rid of Mr. Hipster Guy for a second and I'm going to bring in Alyssa. So what I did I want to get rid of the animation. So what I did is I went up to studio 3D characters here she is. Um, and I put her on the screen and I want to make her walk across the screen. So there's two ways that we can do this. And I chose Alyssa because she does her, her ending, her return to idol at the end is always kind of, I, I have to do some finagling with it. So I thought I would use her because she can be a little trickier for me. So I can go up to motion. I can go to in position to the right. Okay, and you can see the bar comes here right on the bottom. Now if I play that, here she is. Now she's walking in the wrong direction because that's how the character turns. So if you go to settings, properties, I can just flip her so she's walking in the right direction. So now let's look at this. Now she's going, but she's walking in, in place. She's not moving because the animation was only added to here. So I need to click and drag to move the um, animation across the character action longer. Um, I am going to put linear. Now let's see how that looks. Are you doing, are you doing, are you it took her a while to get there. So then I need to move her if I want her to go across to stand there. I have to be after the blue animation and I have to put her where I want her to let to land. So now let's see what happens. Are you doing, are you doing, are you doing, are you doing? And actually she kind of, um, let me just add an animation here so she doesn't disappear so quickly. Um, I'm going to just add a new, let's just make her idle for a moment, okay? Um, she actually moved pretty good. Sorry, up oh, there, it downloaded. Are you doing, are you doing, are you doing, are you doing? So this is about, so here is where you can see the end, this little hash mark is the end of the walking. And here is the end of the animation of the movement going right. I did not bring it to the end. So let's bring it to the end of where the animation ends and then turns to idle. And then what you can see happen, Are you Are you Are you she slides a little. Did you see that little slide a little at the end? Because she stopped walking here, but the animation is still happening. So she slides a little. And we don't want that. So where did I have it to about there? And I think I want to have her end a little closer here. Okay. And I am just going to um, get rid of Joey. <laughs> we don't need to keep hearing him. And here she comes and she stops and she turns really smoothly there, but you're not going to bring it right to the end. Now, if I extend that walking animation, right, what are you going to see there? You're going to see that she's going to keep moving her feet, but not move. See, because the walking action has been, um, the duration has been increased, but she's been told to stop moving to the right here. So you just need to make sure that if you're doing that, that we're now probably, it's gonna be much better to put her off screen. So let's watch that. And you can time that in many different ways. Um, she's starting, cause you can see where it's starting. So she's starting way back here. So let's put, minus 200 instead of minus 500. Um, here she comes, just a little strolling, walking across, and she's going slower because I had her start closer to here. All right, um, let's delete that animation. Let's go back to the beginning. 
Now she's here and I want her to walk to the right, but I don't want to use my motion. I can use my custom animations. Position, easing, I'm going to use linear. And then you have the starting point, the starting point right here. And the ending point is wherever you want her to, to stop. So let's have her stop over here. And we're going to see how fast that can go. See, that is not set up that right. So first, I want to extend that a little longer. I'm going to bring this back to the start. So that's about how long it was when you originally add her. And now it's going longer. So here she goes and she's walking off. However, this beginning animation, she's still facing front. She's just, if you can see, the leg is just starting to lift, to move. So starting the animation of movement here doesn't make any sense. So if you go between the two keyframes, this one and this one, you can move it on the action. So I'm going to move it just a little bit. So now if you can see it, it's right here is the beginning and here is the end. Let's see how that looks. Still not perfect, right? So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this animation out of the way. See my keyframes? And I am going to, she's turning, turning. This is where I probably want the animation of movement to start. So I am going to move my first keyframe there. Whoop. Let's see what that looks like. It might even be able to be a little bit, let's see. This is where you're going to want to play around with it to make sure that it ends up in the spot that you want it to be. Now, if I have her start off the camera, you don't even really have to worry about that because that's all going to happen off the camera and you, off the, um, the canvas and you don't have to play around with that. Here, you can see I already made it into the idle section, which makes a mess itself. So you can play around with that, but sometimes if you just want her to walk on, you don't even have to worry about timing the beginning by starting her off. And there she goes. And she's so much bigger than grandma and grandpa. <laughs> um, so grandma and grandpa, let's see where they are. I'm gonna get rid of that, those are hearts. Um, so here is our grandma and grandpa. And I used position for them because they started off. They started off screen and then I just had them move. Now I can make them walk faster. Let's get rid of Alyssa for a minute. I can make them walk faster. I can make them walk. Where did I lose grandma? Here's grandpa here. So if I, I'm gonna get rid of her. She's just rushing ahead of grandpa because grandpa is going at a slower rate because I have him ending here, grandma here. So I can match them so that they're walking together. There they go. And then there's Charlotte coming in. I used all the preset motion animations for all of them.